right, what's up guys? We're here for another episode of The Set List, and we are here with Happy Abandon. But let's move into what are some of your specific main influences as a band, or your favorite artists? I think we all kind of come from pretty different musical backgrounds, um, but what's funny is I think all of us, maybe with the exception of Carter, have really significant theater backgrounds and um, people have told me as far as my songwriting goes I have more oh. oh really I actually didn't know that yeah, yeah. Um, songwriting and then our kind of compositions there's kind of like some musical theater touches to it or it's very theatrical I think that's very funny um, that people see that but you can see that in like the dynamics or the narrative of the songs yeah. and the the builds and the drops and all of that I, I guess I can totally see that but I never made that connection until somebody brought it up to me um, but my own personal musical uh, influences are like my, I usually tell people my three favorite musicians are Sufjan Stevens, Andrew Bird, and Connor Oberst for pretty different reasons. But um, I mean, I think you can see why, like lyrically, they're all pretty incredible. Um, compositionally, I think Andrew Bird is phenomenal. Um, but their style, I think, is also very different from our style. Mm -hmm. But as a songwriter, um, it's really pushed me in, in a very narrative direction or a very you can relate literature to them. based. Yeah, uh, definitely, I think so. Those were those were all artists that you like grew up listening to, right? Like I started listening to them in like early high school. Because I was I was showing Alex Yellow Ostrich last night. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I say like my three favorite. Because like, no matter what, I'll always change favorite albums or favorite artists for a specific time period. But those three are like my consistent favorite, for sure. Like right now, I'm really into the Districts, and Yellow Ostrich is always huge for me. And Lady Lamb and Courtney, Courtney Barnett, her album is phenomenal. But those three artists that I mentioned are like my go-to favorites. Very cool. Anyone else got any influences? I mean, I'm a huge jazz fan. I listen to a lot of Miles Davis. Uh, I listen to a lot of the Mars Volta. It's not jazz. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Omar Rodriguez Lopez. Um, I listen to a lot of noise music. Uh, there's a local group called Boss Trail from Burlington. I love. I listen to them all the time. Very nice.
words are distorted, fit in more than all the noise but I a local web show featuring local music. What are some of the bands that you all enjoy locally? Are there any that you can think of? I'm really excited with, about the like groups we're playing with today. Uh, yeah. we, we had a really, the Color Exchange um, and us have played several shows together and there's some good dudes Alex and I have known Justin for... Are oh, they here today? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <They're>, um, <laughs> Since like what for five or six years? Justin, Justin and I go way, way. He's one of the first friends I made in college, and I music directed him in an acapella group. That was the first thing that I that I knew him from, and then I got he was one of my links to the local band scene, and, and he's been with his project through like several incarnations and names, and mm -hmm. um, I, it's funny once I finally got into a, a group like this uh, or started playing with one, then we just. But like, we've been side by side this whole time. This is like our, how many gigs have we played together? Probably six. At least six. At least six. He's, in the he, last three months. Yeah, yeah he, <laughs> Justin has been an incredible, incredible help for us. Just like, cause I mean, we, we've all been in the music scene for a while and we've all seen him grow and he's always seen us grow as individuals. And mm -hmm. he had a lot of faith in us, I think. And he had a gig you know, uh, ready to go in, in Washington, D.C., oh, yeah. which is where I'm from. He got us our first show. And so <laughs> he asked if we would play, because, you know, I, I could bring a crowd out to any show in D.C. Um, just because I, I lived there my whole life, and it, it was a fantastic show. And uh, then he got this opportunity to see what we sounded like, and so, you know, he would ask us to play. You know, he play, we played for his album release show. We played together at Tiernanog for their... Local band, local beer, oh, yeah. all all sorts of stuff. So we we expect to continue the relationship as and grow together as bands, for sure. Very cool. Well, that's awesome. And so transitioning kind of from everyone to your music, is there any? I know you're a relatively new, early stage band, but is there any? Are there any releases that you have out now? Can we find your stuff online? Is it physical? <laughs> Everything's physical. Um, no, we. That's, that's pretty meta. Thank you. <laughs> Transcending. Um, we uh, we are in the process. We are finished studio work for this five song EP mm -hmm. with John Custer, who's this producer. He's amazing. One of, one of the smartest guys and most talented producers that I've met. Um, I don't Grammy, know if that's saying a lot. Grammy because, winning, right? What? Grammy award winning. Yeah, thing, yeah. yeah right? um, and he's worked with great bands like CSC and Big Something. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, we've, we've been working on that. The Sawyer Family. Sawyer Family. Um, so that should be released hopefully by the end of the summer because it's being mixed now by him and then it goes into mastering. Um, but for now, we have this kind of unreleased demo version of probably what we're calling, and correct me if I'm wrong, our single um, of the song, Heavy Lines, which is one of the first songs that John helped us with, and he, he loved it. He was so excited about it that we just recorded it and just threw it out there. We wanted people to hear it. Um, that's the only reason I'm here. That's the only reason he's here. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard the demo. I was like, wow. Oh, yeah. I, I want to be a part of this. Yeah. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll have other media nuggets. For sure, we'll have videos. There's a lot of live I mean, videos. A lot of live videos. Uh, That's the that, internet. That's yeah, everything. Yeah. You know? yeah. 
Thank well, you. I believe that should be it for today. And thank you for talking to us. Thanks we so uh, look forward to your set today. If you want to check out Happy Abandoned Music, you can go online, their website. Happyabandonedmusic.com. And our Facebook is just Facebook. Yeah, there's links on the website. Facebook, just go to the website. And Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter and all sorts of stuff. All the social media. Sorry. I think we yeah. have a Tumblr. No way. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Tumblr. Yeah, there is a Tumblr. Oh my god. Our posts everything. Our accounts. Yeah. Nice. Great. Thank all right, you so well, much. Yeah, thank, thank you. It's so thank fun. you for talking to us. All righty. Appreciate it.
Thank you guys for how we abandoned. Thank you to the set list for having us.